Okay, you're in Windows 11 and you want to know how to split your screen. I'm going to show you various different ways you can achieve this, including using shortcut keys. Okay, let's start by opening up Excel. And I want this application to occupy the left side of the screen. So one way you can do that is to drag the title bar over to the left of the screen and it indicates to you which area of your screen that that application will occupy. So if I let go of my mouse, Excel now takes up the left side of the screen. Now, if you had other open applications, it would offer you the opportunity to fill the other side of the screen with those applications. Now I want to open up Microsoft PowerPoint on that side of the screen. So I'm going to open up PowerPoint and I'm going to do the same thing, but drag it over to the right of the screen. Again, Windows indicates to me what area of the screen it's going to occupy. I let go of my mouse and now I've split my screen. You can in fact place your mouse pointer over the dividing line between the applications and drag it to the left and to the right and it will resize both windows. Okay, so that's your first method. I'll close down these apps. Now that method was available in Windows 10, but there are some upgraded methods for splitting your screen in Windows 11. So let's open up Excel again. Now what I'm going to do this time is hover over this little square that you can see at the top of the window. And what this does is present to me various different layouts for my screen. So I want Microsoft Excel to occupy the left side of the screen. So I've got two empty areas here, so I'll select that area. Then I'm going to open up PowerPoint. I'm going to do the same thing, go up here, and I want to split the screen with Excel, so I'm going to select this area here. So I've got PowerPoint on my left, and I've got Excel on my right. Okay, so that's the second method. Now the third method, similar to the second, but what you're going to do rather than using this button is you're going to drag the window, and I'm doing this from the title bar at the top, up to the very top of your screen. And you can see there's a little gray bar appearing at the top of my screen. If I drag it up to there, I get the layout options again. So I want Excel on the left of my screen initially. And then I'm gonna open up PowerPoint. And I'm gonna do the same thing, drag it up to the top. Now this shows the option to have Excel on the right of my screen, PowerPoint on the left. But then if I select this option here, I could have PowerPoint on the right of my screen and Excel on the left. Okay, let's look at another method. So if I open up Excel, now I want this to occupy the left side of the screen. Now I'm gonna hold down the window key on my keyboard and the left key on my keyboard. And you can see it snaps it to the left of the screen. Now if I open up PowerPoint, Hold down the Windows key on my keyboard and the right key on my keyboard. And that moves PowerPoint over to the right of the screen. Now, a nice thing about this split screen feature, if for example, you're working on two applications, but you get interrupted and you need to go into another application. So let's, for example, open up Word and that opens up full screen. You're working away in Word and you want to go back to your previous split screen. What you need to do is hover over one of the applications that was being used in that split screen, and there you'll see the option to revert back to that split screen. Now, if for any reason you do not see these options when you hover over this little square button or when you drag a window up to the top of your screen, it may be that that feature is actually turned off or you may decide you want to turn it off. So how do you do that? Well, if we go down to our Windows Start button and then just search for Settings. You can see I've got it there. Click on System and then select Multitasking down here. And you'll see an option here, Snap Windows. If that is turned off, you're not gonna see those snap window options. So you might want to turn it on if you find them useful, or if you don't. 
Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.